hi all so in this video we are going to see about query entity so we will see how to fetch the data from our database with the help of query entity so query entity are used to fetch data from our database so if we open the database from here we can see like already uh, tables are data is available you can see in the database so you just have to write in the search vof and you will see uh, vof related to that many tables are there and they contain a lot of data as well and we can use existing data to query the database as well so what we want to uh, achieve is first of all we will see how to query a data and then we will see how to use index function uh, as well in our uh, in our values we will see index function and then uh, we will see like how we can use the data from one table and we will query the another table with that data okay so let us try to create an expression rule first of all and here we will what we are trying to fetch we are trying to get the data from the database and what is the name of the tables customers vof customers so get vof customers vof customer data this is the table uh, expression rule we have created okay so now what we will do is uh, we will write a query entity expression rule to get the data from our database so let's get started first of all we will write a bank query entity done okay and what is the name of the entity entity name okay spelling mistake e n t i t y entity what is the entity it is saying like the data store entity to query we have not built any data store entry so for that just build a constant which will refer to that query uh, since this table is already available in our database we don't have to build any data store for that or uh, cdt for that we can directly write a constant and query that data okay so to refer a constant we will write uh, vof vof customer customer data store entity it is customer data store entity let's say for the data store entity which table it is vof data store and what is the entity name entity name is vof customer okay let's create that constant is created now we will refer the same constant here to refer the constant use cons bang and uh, okay let's refer it cons bang and what is the name of the constant this is so just copy that constant name and refer it here that done and what is the query we have to write the query is here so if you see the data store entity or the data query to execute created using a bank query it is created with the help of a bank query a bank query it is created we have created that now you can see a lot of fields are available we will only query as much query we, we minimum number of uh, you know the arguments we will pass here let's see what is the most required one to run the uh, query so you can see here one error we have got and it is saying paging info must not be null or empty so if would i do paging info is must here okay a bank paging info and what is the start index for that start index will be one in apn index starts at one batch size batch size means like how much data you want to return one data two four five how many values we want to return I, we just want to return one value okay so let's see how does it work ah see now we have got our query great so uh, we can see here uh, this query is there and along with the query we can see like start index batch size whatever we have passed it is saying we don't want all these values to come to avoid those values you can use dot notation to refer to particular data only dot data and now it will only reflect these values only let's test the rule again ah here it is see all the important data are points are now coming here all the points which are in our customer database are coming right so all the data points has now come so first step we have done how to query the data that we have seen now we will see like if the user input any value then i only want that data currently like i am getting some random data right but if user want to enter like if user enter ecme corporation then i want all the data 
right so how to do like this so for that we have to create a, a rule input so that user can enter dynamic values and we will write it name here text that's it so that's all so if user enter any name for example ekme corporation okay spelling is fine now ekme so i should be able to get all the data for the ECME corporation how to do that so for that we have to filter our data so let's collapse the paging info part and filter the data now let's filter the data so how to use the filter with the help of a bank query filter a bank query filter we will filter the data with the comma as well return to the brackets and write how to filter first argument is filled operator value apply when so filled is what filled will be used like which is that filled to query the data okay now we will write our filter filled what is the filled so filled means nothing but like whatever the value uh, available in our database which field so user is entering actually which field user is entering the name okay so here we will write our name name is done now second is operator okay and this name should be equal to what should be equal to this name right so we have to give here operator is equal to now what is the value so when i enter x suppose i enter x and it should be equal to in this table where is that value stored so this is it should be equal to like ecme corporation or whatever the name user has given so here we can write rule input name that's it so now if user enter ecme corporation i will get all the value of ecme you can see here all the value ecme are we are getting suppose like uh, uh, i will choose january this value i should get all the data for this one part and done so all the data for this part we are getting id is 22 january and all these values are there okay now first part is done let's save our changes here now uh, first part is done now we don't want all the data if you see the table closely here name is there and with each name one address id is associated similarly uh, there is another table here okay let, let's see that view of address and in that address table one id is associated with each address so if we pass suppose if we pass the id one here it should give me the address of ecme corporation right it will fetch me the address of this ecme corporation so that's what we will do now so we will get the address id suppose if user enter any name we will get the address id for that name so dot address id what is the address id written here so we will write the address id as this one copy it and paste it then 22 and what is the address associated with 22 address id let us go down and 22 so it should give me this address okay so that's what we want to do so that's how we our query entity will be fetched let's save our changes okay so uh, before going on to the our next part that we will do in part two but let's first format our data once like uh, 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 we will not use dot notation we will try to query uh, we will use index function here to query the data suppose if data is not available then what so let's try to test our data if i write january it is giving me some value but if i don't write anything what it will do so you can see here uh, let's see one error it is getting like value must not be null or empty so we will write a condition before our query uh, only right if user forgot to write any name then don't query at all right so something like this we can write if condition here if if okay what is the condition if rule input name is null right so we will write is null function here if rule input is null then don't even jump to query entity don't even query it only if data is not null then only we have to query it so now you can see here if it is null then it is not giving any error at all 
and the second part we will go on to our index function so indexing is very important like if data is not available then don't query it uh, or give null values like that so first of all how to use index function so let's open uh, uh, okay so not now here here only we can see it let's write index here so index we have written here and in the index let's remove all these values okay and will give here this now inside the index function what is the first data so data argument tells like where is your whose values is expected whose value is expected can also be dictionary map or a record like wherever data is situated our data is available here right and what do we want to query from here after that comma is there right give a comma here what is the value we want to query dot data we have written so instead of that we will write data now what is the index we have written what is the default value if data is not available for that then we we will do uh, just write null or we give curly braces so first index function is done that's it inside the index if you see here we will again index it inside that what we want inside the data we were getting the address ids right so to get the address id what we want again we will index it and this time again we will index it and this time what is the data the first index has become our data right this okay and what do we want from this data we want address id from here address ID from me. and if address ID is not available then just return null that's it so now test the rule here and let's see so we have made quite a good expression here and if I want suppose I just given ECME here all right so ECME is not a valid input it will just give uh, mean null or list of variant is zero and if I write corporation ECME corporation then it will fetch me the address ID of ECME corporation and if I give something as let me go to the customers table and if I give something app line right one simple name is there app line if I give something as app line so it will give me the address ID 20 so 20 address id but suppose if i give appliance or something like this this name doesn't exist in database so what it will give it will give null nothing is there fine so that's all so that's all in the first part in our second part we will see how to query the address table and how to use the address id this address id to fetch the data from the this table so that's all thank you